Dynasty relics in Dongchu, Kuang 9, not far away from the town of Dongchu and Sin Temple, previously known as Sin Palace, is considered one of the most sacred religious building. It lies on a low hill of Trelok village and Sin commune, Dongchu. In today's cultural heritages, we will be visiting this sacred temple. Dongchu is a land of heroes and talents, and just like the rest of the country, it has gone through our glorious history. Together with many fascinating festivals, the area is also the home of many historical sites that are important to Kuang Nine province in particular and the whole country in general. Among those is the ancient Rung village with the temple of the female general Le Chan who served under Hai B. A. Trung reign. The historical sites of Chen Duk, Quin Lam Pagoda, Nam Dong Pagoda, Ho Thien Pagoda and finally, Ngoa Van Pagoda, where Tran Nam Dong, king and founder of Truk Lam Yen Chu Zen sect, passed away. Especially, Dong Tu is considered the scared land of the Tran dynasty the most prosperous dynasty of the Vietnamese feudalism. It is home to a system of worshipping temples and tombs of the Tran kings, who ruled the dynasty, the historical monuments and cultural heritages of the Tran dynasty, are found all over the country. However, they are mainly concentrated in Thang Long, Hanoi, Thien Truong, Named In, and Dong Tu, Quang Nine. In Dongtu, the historical monuments of the dynasty are concentrated in Nsing Commune. There are 133 pagodas, temples and shrines in Dongtu, 26 of which are recognized as provincial or national heritages. Dongtu is one of the cultural centers of Dai Viet in 13, 14 centuries. Archaeologists and historians have proved that Dongtu was the sacred land of the Tran dynasties, because 11 among 14 kings of the Tran dynasties chose Dong Tu to place their tombs and temples. As of the Truk Lam School of Zen, Dong Tu was the original center. Since the founder of this school, the king monk Tran Ming Dong chose to live his last years in Goa Van Pagoda, Tae Sun, Bing Khe, Dong Tu. Dynasty, Dongchu is the center of Buddhism and hence the center of Buddhism architecture with many pagodas and towers. All these structures were built for the Zen school of Druk Lam Yen Chu, which was founded by King Monk Tran Nam Dong. This Zen school undied all the schools of Vietnamese Buddhism at the time and quickly became the national Buddhism school that influenced the religious life of the whole country. Under the Tran dynasty, Dongtu was also economically developed, since most of it was the land and farms of the royal family members. 
Many historians hence believe that Dongchu was the cultural center of the Tran dynasty. And Sin or Yen Sin, Dongchu is the original homeland of the Tran royal family. The ancestors of the kings were fishermen for generations and some of them migrated to the estuary areas of the Red River for settlement. They eventually settled down in TUC Mac, Fiatruong district, named in province nowadays. The family then seized the throne and became the royal family of Vietnam in 1225. The first king, Trankin, or Tran Tai Dong, in 1237 granted his elder brother, Tran Lu, the areas of Jen Sing, Dong Tu, Yen Pu, Kin Monday, Yen Dung Hong, Yen Bang, Hong Bai, Yen Ho, and assigned him the task of all shipping, the family ancestors, and taking care of their tombs. Tran Lu was the father of the heroic general Tran Hung De, who has been worshipped as a saint by Vietnamese people. Kings of Tran dynasties defeated the Mongolian invaders twice in 1258 and 1285. In order to prevent the enemy from destroying the tombs of their ancestors, they moved all the tombs to the remote area of Ansin, their hometown which was under the protection of Tran Lu's family. After the third victory against the Mongols in 1288, the country entered a long period of peace and prosperity. The tombs and Ansin were hence renovated and became much grander. Every year, the kings, the royal family and all the mandarins serving them would travel there to worship and remember their ancestors in the various temples and tombs. People in neighboring areas also flocked to Ansin to attend the festivals. In 1381, the Tran dynasty started to show signs of decline. There were riots all over the country and the kingdom of Champa started their invasion of the empire. Once again, to prevent the destruction of the wars that would happen in the provinces of Taibin and Namdin, the tombs of Tran royal family were moved to Ansin. The Ansin palace was constructed to worship all the Tran kings. Ansin, Dongchu officially became the sacred land of the Tran kings. This is the Ansin Temple, or Ansin Palace, where the eight kings of the Tran Dynasty are worshipped. The Tran Dynasty was the most glorious empire in the Vietnamese history with three victories over the Mongols. The temple STS on a small hill of Ansin Commune, Dong Tu District. According to the ancient Feng Shu, the temple lies on the back of a giant tortoise and faces Sal, the best of the four cardinal directions. This position was undoubtedly chosen very carefully according to the ancient theory of Feng Shu, which was used widely in building houses, pagodas, temples and shrines. The time and wars have demolished the old temple, leaving only ruins of the floors, materials, relics and stills. The rest of temples, palaces, tombs are lost. as well as the local people and the descendants of the Tran royal family living all over the country have together reconstructed a new and sin temple on the ground of the ruined one. The new and sin temple has an area of 2.5 hectares. It has three parallel buildings connected by two hallways which are similar to the traditional religious architecture of Vietnam. The building has two stories with eight curved roofs. The decorations on the doors, the ceilings, roof corners and rooftops look strong but soft, indicating the development in aesthetics and culture of the Tran dynasty. Chien Dung Nong, front hall, 
consists of three compartments and two lintos on either side. The compartment in the middle has the main or shaping altar of the temple. On the two sides are the altars to worship the god of the land and the god of the mountain. In the middle of the houses, a horizontal lacquered broad with the inscription Dong in them. The first characters Dong and the mixing together make up the word Tran. This golden sentence means all the kings of the Tran dynasty are all shaping as the saints. On the two sides are two wood panels with the following distiche. Even the stone horses are tied of the two walls. Yet our homeland would stand for thousands of years. This distiche was written by King Tramun and Tong after the two wars against the Yuan Mongol armies in 1258 and 1285. It shows the determination to defeat the enemy and bring a lasting peace to the empire. The Orshiping Hall consists of compartment and two lintos on either side. The main compartment is used to worship Sant Tran Hunger. The statue of the Sant here is made of sandstone, which was taken from the Ntwai Mountain in Nanhok. The statue was sculptured in a sitting position. The saint is holding Bintwai Yerlupnok or the Book of Warfare Essentials. His most famous work with the thoughtful face. On the two sides is the distiche that reads Hungdo Dai Vonmok. Tran Hungdo has passed into history. The glorious pictures on the Baichtang River were of the Tran Dynasty. The rear palace consists of five compartments and two lintos. It is the palace to worship the eight kings of the Tran Dynasty. In Insin, Dong Tu. All the statues, horizontal lacquered boards. Districts and all shipping objects were donated to the temple by the people. Fourteen spots in the relics of Tran Dynasty. Or Shiping eight Tran kings. And Sin has also the important meaning. Many have wonders why there are only eight Tran kings or shiped in in Sin Temple. While there are fourteen Tran kings, that is because local people in Dong Tu restored only the tombs of the kings who had tombs in Dong Tu formerly. Horizontal lacquered bore has the inscription Lang Kun Vanchu, which hails the great contributions of the kings. The middle altar is for worshipping the first two kings. All the other kings' statues are placed symmetrically from right to left. Tran Tai Tong is the king who founded the dynasty. His birth name was Tran Khan. He was born on June 16, the year of Mao Dan, 1218. He was crowned king at the age of only eight, and remained on the throne for 33 years from 1225 to 1258. Then he abdicated and acted as Tai Thun Long Huang, father of the king. For another 19 years, he passed away in the summer, April 1, year of Din Su, 1277, at Vanta Palace at the age of 60 and was buried in Chiolang tomb. In 1381, his body was moved to Chufuk, in Ansin commune, behind Ansin temple now. Tran Dan Tong was the second king of the dynasty, his birth name was Tran Huang. He was born on September 25, the year of Gantai, 1240. He was crowned king at the age of 18, 1259, and remained on the throne for 21 years, from 1258 to 1278. He acted as Tai Thun Long Huang, father of the king, for 13 years. He passed away in the summer, May 25, the year of Gandan, 1290, at Ningta Palace, at the age of 51 and was buried in Dulang tomb. His body was moved to Chufat tomb of Ansin in 1381. 
Tran and Tong was the fourth of the dynasty. His birth name was Tran Fuyin. He was born on September 17, the year of Bintai, 1276. He was crowned king at the age of 17, 1293, and remained on the throne for 21 years from 1293 to 1314. He acted as Tai Fun Huang, father of the king, for six years. He passed away in spring. March 13, year of Kaan 1320, at Trung Quang Palace, Fiatruong District, at the age of 45. Tran Min Tong was the fifth king of the dynasty. His birth name was Tran Man. He was born on August 21, the year of Gantai, 1300. He was crowned king at 14, 1314, and remained on the throne for 15 years and acted as Tai Thun Nong Hoang for 28 years. Tran Hien Tong was the sixth king of the dynasty. His birth name was Tran Von Mong. He was born on May 17, the year of Kaimur, 1319. He was crowned king at 10, 1329, and stayed on the throne for 13 years, from 1329 to 1341. Tran Du Tong was the seventh king of the dynasty. His birth name was Tran Hao. He was born on October 19, year of Bintai, 1336. He was crowned king at 6, 1341, and remained on the throne for 28 years, 1841 to 1369. Tran Hatong was the eighth king of the dynasty. His birth name was Tran Pu. He was born in December, the year of Tandao, 1321. He was crowned king at 55, 1370, and was on the throne for three years, 1372-1372, and acted as Tai Thun Huang, father of the king, for 27 years. Trang Yindin was the 13th king of the dynasty. His birth name was Trang Kui and he was the second son of Tran Hedong. He was the king for three years, 1407 to 1409. He tried to restore the power of the Tran family but failed. He was captured and brought to Kim Lang, China, by the Mings. Dong Tu, as mentioned before, has many relics of the Tran dynasty including the tombs of King Tran Jutong and Tran Thuan Dong in the Not the Mountain, Thuyan Commune, Thai Temple, the Shrine of Princess When looking at the history of Buddhism in Vietnam, we can see that Tran Nhat Tong was the king who defeated the Mongols twice. In the 13th century, not only did he bring the peace to the country but he also founded the Truk Lam School of Zen, a unique Vietnamese school of Buddhism. He spent the last years of his life in Ansin and passed away. In the pagoda of Ngoalan, his sarira is placed in the Phut Hoang Tower, which lies on the top of Ngoalan Mountain on the Thien Kai Sun Range. understand the cultural and historical values of Ansin Temple. In today's views on heritage, we will talk to Mr. Nguyen Van An M. A, who works at Vietnam Academy of Social Sciences and has been studying the relics of the Tran Dynasty for years. The Tran Dynasty Relic Complex in Dong Tu was recognized as a special national heritage by the Prime Minister. What is the important aspect of this complex, in your opinion? 
the relic complex was one of the first relics recognized as national heritage in 1962. The tombs themselves are very important. We all know that the Tran dynasty was the most prosperous dynasty in our history. Together Lai dynasty. Tran dynasty is considered one of the most developed periods in Vietnam. The tombs, temples, palaces clearly demonstrate this development. It was believed in feudal times that the area to place their capital is. The most important thing to consider, it is the Yang. The second important thing was construction of temples, shrines and tombs. Which represent the Yin. Yin and Yang together contribute to the prosperity of a dynasty. Dongqiu has both Yin and Yang aspects. It has the palaces, which represent the yang and the temples, shrines and pagodas which represent the inn. The royal architectural style is shown clearly in most of the tombs. Visiting and Sin Temple, we have the chance to get better insights into the complex of Tran Dynasty relics in Dongqiu. We can also understand more about the historical values through the relics displayed in the museum of the temple. Those are the values that cannot be ignored when visit and learn about this complex. The festival of Ansin Temple is celebrated on the day the temple inaugurated, the 20th of Lunar August, which is also the day Sant Tran Hung Do passed away. The festival lasts for three days. The first ceremony is a dance by the dancers of Insing Commune. After that is a speech and or shiping rituals. The children then perform martial arts while the elderly also have their own performances. Then comes the or shiping ceremonies from rural communes of Tanviat, Bindunnong, and Sin, Thuyan, Dongtu, and Le Chan, Hai Fong. Historians and archaeologists presented their researches and studies on the Tran dynasty of Dongtu, Quang 9. Scientific studies that were presented at the seminar organized by the Local People's Committee and the Capital Study Center, October 2012, were announced in the festival. The relics of the period were put on display in the Museum of Tranes Cultural Heritages in Sin Temple. The most valuable of them might be the golden box unearthed in the Temple of Dongchu in June 2012. Festival of Ansin Temple in 2014 is very important because in the opening ceremony, recognition of the temple as a special national heritage by the Prime Minister will be announced and Dongtu will be recognized as a four-class town. The recognition of the temple as a special national heritage is a great pride for Dongtu. It is also our responsibility to protect and preserve this temple so that it remains in the best condition. When visit the Insin Temple, in the silence of space and time, it seems that the chant of Sat that, kill the Mongols, can still be heard.
its 175 years, the Trump dynasty left many memorable milestones and achievements in politics, economy, culture and Buddhism. The Amsin Temple is truly the place where the great kings of the Trump dynasty are all shaped and remembered for good. That is all for program today. Thanks for watching.